The Riverbank Restoration Project has entered a critical phase as workers involved in the rehabilitation of the ancillary, cul-de-sac and canneries riverbanks have received an orientation aimed at equipping them with the knowledge and skills necessary to ensure the project's success. Workers were educated on the different aspects of the restoration process, including protection measures, safety protocols and the proper handling of snakes. Range officer for the Millet Range, Shamin Donovan Augustine, says this comprehensive training ensures that the workers remain safe while undertaking this crucial work. One of the major issues we have, especially in the Anster area, is the snakes, the fadiness. So it was very important to educate the workers who would be on the project how to handle the fadiness. Um, if a snake bite happens, what to do, how to prevent it. Totally. So this was one of the most important things, apart from the planting, that we had to do to educate them on how to deal with the failures because we know it's present in the area. According to the National Project Coordinator of the ACP MEA's three project, Lishan Monrose, the community of Ancillary has welcomed this project with open arms, recognizing the critical importance of protecting their natural resources and the need to improve their water system's current state. Last year, as part of the first phase of the project, we conducted an assessment of the ancillary river and it went up to the middle portion of the river. So we'll be starting our registration from the middle of the river and come all the way down. Um, we're not going to be doing the entire length of the river, but degraded pockets. Um, and we'll be planting native trees. So a lot of forest species um, in certain areas we will be using the vetiver depending on how degraded and what is required and what will work best for that particular area. Um, it's intended for the revegetation activity to lead to increased biodiversity in the area. And the reason why we're engaging the community and we're making a point to have that community participation is that the community would take ownership of the project. The community would look after the trees in the long run and um, assist with the maintenance of those trees. The Riverbank Restoration Project is a vital initiative that aims to strengthen the degraded riverbanks with agroforestry crops and forestry species, ultimately reducing erosion, deforestation and waste disposal, and improving the quality of river water. Through this partnership with the FAO, the Department of Forestry continues to take proactive measures to build a resilient and sustainable future where the environment, economy and society are in harmony. The workers' orientation and training signify a crucial step in achieving this goal, demonstrating St. Lucia's unwavering commitment to preserving its natural resources and achieving food security. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.